go. So the reason that men are so important in this dialogue is because they represent the current system. It's as simple as that. You know, whether we like it or not, men are um, overrepresented and women are underrepresented in most powerful positions, whether it's corporate, whether it's media, whether it's government. We have more men in charge than we have women. Simple. That's how mm-hmm. it is. So a lot of what we're seeing in terms of the, um, the imbalance or the inequity is that it's not because women aren't capable or they're not experienced enough or they can't do the job. There is systemic bias in place that keeps women out of those positions. So if it's not about the women themselves, it's not, I always like to say, it's not about the sisters, it's about the system. <laughs> so if it's not about the system, the sisters, and it's about the system, then ergo, it has to be about the men. Mm-hmm. because the men are the system. Mm. But, and herein lies the rub, and this is what you say, so why then aren't there more men in this conversation? <laughs> well, what is the conversation for the men? Unless, So what I've noticed is unless you are a diversity champion, unless you are required by the board or by your stakeholders to show the investment you're putting in this conversation, there's not enough imperative right now for people to really invest in these conversations in a way that's going to really shift the system. And it's too easy to tick the box and it's too easy to say all the right things, Mm. but really not do enough. And one of the issues I noticed is that men don't actually understand the real problem. And that's the main problem. And I don't mean that by way of, I don't intellectually understand. I think we all understand, you know, we can see there are more men at the top and there are less women. We have an imbalance. How do we right that wrong? Right. That's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of business cases out there. We've got all the stats and data in the world. We're not lacking for the data to show what this need is about, but what we're lacking is an, is an understanding on a personal level about what's really happening on a day-to-day basis that is perpetuating and creating this cycle. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.